Hello viewers, good afternoon and welcome to my channel Flexo Master. Today we are going to discuss and study the chapter number 19 from paper and paperboard packaging again. And so we will continue. Paper and paperboard packaging chapter number 19. So paper bags. Paper bags cover a wide range of designs and uses from the grocery sack in the United, United States of America to the fine art bags used in the gift trade. The main types of paper bags are flat and satchel, strip window, sauce. Sauce means self-opening satchel. Flat bags are most basic form. They are two-dimensional and confined almost entirely to point of sale use. Satchel bags have gazetted which allow the bags once opened to become three-dimensional making it make much easier than flat bags to handle and fill. Like flat bags, their main uses is at point of sale. Satchel bags can be supplied with strip windows in one side allowing the product to be seen. These bags are developed of the, for the bread and baguette trade where the window film used is a breathable film. Or often micro perforated polypropylene biocompost compostable poly lactic acid PLA film is also starting to be used. The breathability ensures that no moisture builds upon the film. Thus, the bread remains fresh and crisp. Open mouth potato sacks and bags for clothing also utilize the window concept. The three stages of storage A. Opening B and sealing C of sauce bags which is self opening satchel are shown in the Next slide, the pictures. These bags are often constructed from paper laminated to a plastic films, the film providing product protection as well as protecting the paper for deterioration due to the product. For example, rotisserie bags for hot chicken, the laminate construction also allows the bags to be closed by heat sealing. Sauce bags, which is self-opening satchel, are used for pre-packaged dry goods and when handles are applied uh, as carrier bags for point of sale uses. The latter may be printed with high quality graphics offering the brand owner or retail outlet good advertising opportunities. Here is the flat bags design and satchel gazetted bag design. Satchel bag design with open window storage opening and sealing the next slide will be going for liquid packaging cartons the type of uh, paper are or paper board 210 to 250 gsm use for these packs is the same stock as for single layer pre-printed convert lute wound tubes multi-layer virgin bleach sulfide or CTMP fiber is used due to its excellent strength or whiteness. The polymer layer on the outside prevents condense, condensation absorbing into the paper and polymer on the side inside protects the packaging from product and vice versa. Figure 1 showing here there are layers polyethylene that this layer paper board, tie layer, aluminium barrier, tie layer again and polyethylene. So, in the, the whole of the plastic is applied as a coat weight as high as 40 GSM to ensure an integral heat seal for liquids prone to oxidation such as long life milk, aluminum foil or EVOH, ethylene, vinyl alcohol are incorporated in the laminate. Figure 2. See here. The first layer is polyethylene, the second is paperboard, the EVOH barrier, tie layer and polyethylene, figure 2. We come to the next slide, liquid packaging cartoons again. Liquid packaging cartoons come in two basic shapes, bricks and with a gable top. Uh, 
Open ability has been strongly criticized by consumers and features such as plastic pour spouts and more convenient shapes have been added to provide convenience in use. Figure 4 here. The brick shape containers are gable top is figure 3 and the figure 4 is that for convenient shape spouts and more convenient shape here. And the, the brick shape uh, containers are produced by vertical form seal technology for a reel of printed laminated paper stock. The gable top containers are printed, cut, crease, and heat sealed along the glue flap, similar to a folding cartoon. See later in the chapter. All right. So the conversion process for paper board more than 250 GSM. The packaging formats made for paperboard discussed in this section are folding cartons, multi-packs and trays, rigid box, pressed paperboard trays, blister carts and euro slot multi-packs, folding cartons, multi-packs and trays. Cartons can be defined generally as a small to medium size container made from paperboard or in some instances paper less than 250 GSM or plastic toothpaste and some cosmetics cartoons for example although there is a confusion in the packaging industry about the term carton for example the so called egg carton is not a carton at all but a container made from molded pulp specifically to hold eggs this section covers folding carton made from paperboard only and not cartons made from pl plastic or corrugated material cartons are used for their protective and Aesthetic pro pro properties providing a very cost effective means of packing products in a sustainable recyclable material providing excellent graphics and presentation on shelf. They are, however, restricted in their preservation properties as they possess poor gas and moisture vapor barrier properties due mainly to the materials used and the integrity of the seed. Grades of paper board are selected based on the product that is going to be packed, the machinery requirements to pack the product into the carton, the demands of the supply chain, including the retailer and the consumer, and last but by no means at least, the cost of environment con conditions. Folding cartons again, multi-packs and trays, explaining here, top of the reverse side of the paper board may be coated with mineral or artificial white, pig, white pigments as described in the paper and paperboard benefit. All paperboard grades can also be treated with fluorocarbons to give grease resistance though this process is declined due to fear of tint or coated laminated with wax. Many countries have eliminated or greatly reduced to use of wax as it hinders recycling. Plastic films, water-based barrier coatings and volume foil to provide gas. Much moisture, grease, water barrier and heat sealability depending on the combination used. The quality of barrier of the finished cartoon is dependent more on the seal integrity of the cartoon than on the barrier properties of the material used. Liquid packaging cartons are either scribed and hemmed on the inside vertical seal or the seal is overlain with a plastic membrane to prevent moisture, seeping or gas penetrating into the paper in the same way as of the for a spiral and twist containers. Now, uh, cartoon style, the basic guidelines as follows. First, the glue flap shoulder should never be showing on the front face of a cartoon. This is an aesthetic requirement as the edge of the board would be exposed when the car cartoon is carton is displayed and this bare edge would detract from the quality of the graphic design figure 5 showing folding cartoon design length and width determine the location of the opening front panel length width depth and manufacturer's joint here so Cartoon style number two, the glue flap should not be incorporated with the working pieces. When cartons are erected from the flag, it is important that the carton opens squarely. If the glue flap is incorporated in the working crease, the carton is, 
will have a higher resistance to opening figure 6 showing here relationship between glue flaps and working creases working crease here rear panel glue flap here working crease the, the front panel principally is display panel the number 3 glue glued cartons should be packed in the transit pack usually a tray sleeve or case shing wrap or not on end with the glue flap at the base this ensures minimal risk of setting of creases which would make the carton difficult to open as the stiffness of the board could be less than force required to open the creases resulting in the carton bending rather than opening the this would result in a lost time and wastage on the packing line number 4 unglued cartons should be supplied packed flat directly on the pallet with layer pads between each layer. Number five in the cartoon styles, the grain direction of the fibers in the board should always be at 90 degree angle to the major creases. This is very important for consistent crease performance and a minimal bowing of the cartoon. It is important to specify grain direction, especially, especially which when using two different supplier because depending on size of printing press used it may be possible to get an extra cartoon from a given sheet size by reversing the print in relation to the grain although seen initially a cost saving this could mean increased cost at pack pillar and distribution stages figure 7 here showing that cartoon grain direction should run 90 degrees angle to the major creases to ensure maximum cartoon stiffness. Cartoon styles, however, different markets used different nomenclature and places to measure. So it is always advisable to produce a drawing with the actual dimension marked on it to prevent any confusion. And in figure number seven, showing diagram dimension in case of a tube style cartoon, which a friction tuck top and a full overlap bottom closer is a dust flap over outer closer, and uh, you have length width, width, tuck flap, flap depth. All this information is necessary. If you have, if you need more details you can write an email to me i will send it to you now cartoon style and load cartoons are designed to be filled horizontally example bag in box serial cartoon or vertically example direct fill oats cartoon figure 9 and load cartoon this is the horizontally Filled and figure 10. This is the end load cartoon basic design drawing of the uh, cartoon. Again, this consists of four panels one, two, three, four. Front, rear, left side, and right side panel glued at the side seam. This is a small flap attached either to the rear or side panel and known as a glue flap. So we will stop here for this chapter today and in the next chapter. Okay, friends, we have uh, completed the chapter number nine for paper and paper board packaging. And you hope you got more information on this subject. And we will continue for our next chapter, chapter number 20 for the same subject. And you will learn in this uh, coming upcoming chapter video and more and more and hope you will enjoy the learning process and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel and like and share it to other people who are interested thank you very much see you soon